Hey guys, it's Sarah. I am finally back in my kitchen. Let me adjust this a little bit. Um, it's been a little while since I have cooked in my kitchen live for you guys because, well, I was having it redone. So I could not go um, live. But I did want to bring you um, one of my favorite meals now that it's getting a little bit warmer. I love making cheesy shells and Italian sausage. Um, so I thought I would make part of this live for you guys. Um, it has to go in the microwave for 20 minutes, so I'm not going to bore you when it's in the microwave. But I'll get everything together for it to go in the microwave, and then we'll prep the topping. And then at the end of the, um, once it's finished, I'll post a picture of the final product. So let me wait for a few people to hop on. We've got a few that are coming on. Hey, Tisha. Hey, Amanda. Um, my comments are blending in with the screen now, so that's hard for me to see. Let me move my camera down. I don't like that. Hey, Christina. Okay, maybe that will work for y'all. Um, Okay, so we're making cheesy shells and Italian sausage. I love, love, love making this um, for my January and February parties as my soup and slippers party. So all of my January and February hosts, they are some of my favorite for the year because we do it as a pajama party. I come in my pajamas, you and your guests wear their pajamas and slippers, and we make this really, really um, good recipe. Um, and it's just fun. Really, really like it. What did you say, Christina? Oh, this is one of your favorites. Yeah, I think we made it at one of your parties. Um, okay, so this is our four quart Dutch oven rock crock of the four in the collection um, for the, the pots. This one is my favorite because it's the most versatile. And all I did before I started this video, this is one package of sweet Italian turkey sausage. And this is the Publix brand um, turkey sausage. So it was just the, the package is in the trash, otherwise I'd show you. It was just a package of, I think there were five sausage links, and I just took my um, paring knife and slit the casing on them and took the sausage out of the casing. And then if you don't have our mix and chop, this is a must-have in every kitchen. If you're ever browning um, ground beef, sausage, um, turkey sausage, anything like that, because all you do while it's browning is go in here and do this spirally little motion and then it crumbles your sausage or your ground beef really, really nice. So that's the mix and chop. Um, because I used the rock crock, I was able to brown this sausage on my stove top and then I'm able to finish off this recipe in the microwave. I didn't have to transfer from one pot to the other because the rock crock, if you're not familiar with them, they may be used on every cooktop or every cooking um, location that you have. Microwave, oven, broiler, stove top, whether it's a gas stove top, a flat stove top, or the traditional. Um, you can also use it on the grill or the green egg or a smoker. And then for cleanup, it just goes in the dishwasher. So this size is my favorite because it's the four quart. It's really um, big and versatile, but then we also have a two quart, a two and a half quart, and an eight quart. The eight quart is huge. Like that would be great Thursday if you were doing a huge, huge batch of um, stuffing. I will probably be using mine to mix up some of my stuffing because it's just such a large capacity. So anyway, we just have one package. It, the recipe calls for 16 ounces of Italian turkey sausage. I'm actually using 20 ounces because I didn't want to waste any of the package. So it never hurts to have a little bit more meat. Um, then we're going to press a couple garlic cloves using the garlic press. If you never cook with fresh garlic, you're missing out. So I like to use fresh garlic in everything that I cook except for my sweets. And I like to use two to four cloves. But what I like is I don't have to peel the garlic. I can just use the garlic press with the clove in there and then just crush it. I use a paring knife if I can't find the little um, cleaning tool that comes with it. But all of my garlic just crushed through the peel, so I didn't have any waste. But I also don't have to smell like garlic because I didn't have to touch it. So we're going to do another big clove and then I have one more. And see, here's all your garlic. Look at all that garlic. So just scrape that off the bottom. And then we're going to do one more smaller clove because it calls for 
two to four, so we're going with like two and a half cloves. The garlic press is dishwasher safe. So now that I'm done with it, I can just stick it in the dishwasher. So we're done with our garlic. Let me grab a scraper real quick to mix this. So kind of blend your garlic into there. And then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients that we need, which is three cups of chicken broth, one jar of um, marinara or spaghetti sauce. It doesn't matter what brand. Who else has joined us? Hey, Molly. Hey, Mary. Um, hey, Candy. It doesn't matter what brand of spaghetti sauce or marinara you use. I bought this, which is Italian sausage, garlic, and Romano. Um, the Bertoli was on sale, buy one, get one free, so that's why I bought that today. But you're just going to do one complete jar. If you're someone that has trouble um, loosening lids, one thing you might want to invest in is our Easy Opener. We also sell a jar opener, but the Easy Opener is very multifunctional. You can use it to open up two liters or 20 ounce drinks. This little slit will um, open up cans of soda or even your pop top soup cans. And then this operates as a bottle opener or a jar opener. And then there's a magnet on the back, so it'll stick on your refrigerator. When you're using, hang on. When you're using it to pop the seal on a jar, you just put it down beside the um, jar. I don't know if y'all heard that pop, but you just lift up and then your jar opens really, really easy. So we're gonna pour this entire bottle ooh, whoops, of spaghetti marinara sauce. And then we need three cups of chicken broth. And I bought the box this time because it is on sale because Thanksgiving's Thursday and everybody needs chicken broth for Thursday. I'm using the Easy Read measuring cup. If you don't have these, these are phenomenal. This is the four cup out of the set. So the set comes one cup, two cup, and four cup. They can be used in the microwave. They're dishwasher safe, but we're going to save this for Thursday because I'm sure I will need it. What's great about it is I don't have to do the bend and squat exercise to see if I have accurate measurements. You look from above and your measurements are on the inside at an angle. So you just leave it stationary on your countertop, measure until it's where you need it to be, and it'll be accurate. Now, we need three cups. I'm going to actually pour a little bit of this into my jar. And we're putting the rest in here. And the reason I just put it into the jar is because I don't want to waste any of my sauce. So that way I got all the sauce out of my jar. So that's just a little trick I learned years ago that, you know, if you're using um, either water or broth of any kind, when you're using a jar of sauce, pour it back into there and you'll get the rest out. Um, all right, so we're going to mix this up a little. We are also going to add one zucchini so just one regular zucchini i'm going to slice off the ends of the zucchini can anyone guess what tool i might use to prep my zucchini i'll give you a hint it's not going to be my knife i'm going to pre-prep it but then there's something else i'm going to use to completely slice this so does anyone have any guesses i know it's been a while since i've done a live video so you might be um, forgetting some of my favorite tools but maybe someone has a guess. Okay, um, while y'all are thinking about it, hey Crystal, um, I'm going to slice these in fourths. So I sliced the ends off, sliced it in half, then we're gonna slice each of the halves in half again so that we have little quarter pieces. We're gonna do both halves. The rock crock is kinda in my way here, so my space is limited, but hopefully y'all can see. All right, so let's reveal my favorite product. Who said that? Yes, the quick slice. Good job, Heather. Okay, so I'm gonna use the quick slice on my zucchini because it is going to save me a ton of time. I can put half of the zucchini at one time. So I've got four little zucchini logs on there 
And then I just kind of wiggle back and forth. Let's hope that this doesn't fall off because <laughs> that would be a big mess. All right, and then look at my zucchini slices. In just one quick motion, I have half of the zucchini done, and now I can dump it into my rock crock. All right, and now we're going to do it with the other half. And you just put them face down because you don't want them rolling. Ooh, if I drop them. You don't want them rolling all over the place. That piece is a little long, but it'll work. So see how I just have them face down on the quick slice? And then you just kind of wiggle back and forth. And then you have perfect slices to go. You know, if you were doing a cucumber, you could do it that same way. Um, a yellow squash, you could do it that same way. And then really quick to get that whole zucchini sliced up and into my rock crop for my cheesy shells and Italian sauce. Okay, now we're going to add, recipe calls for 14 ounces of pasta. This is a 16 ounce box. So we'll just kind of leave a little bit of it out because if I put the whole thing in, it will um, be too much. There's not enough liquid to um, do all the pasta, but you just want medium shells. I know it's showing backwards to y'all, but this is just Publix brand medium shell pasta. It's not cooked, as you can hear. All right, so that's probably close enough to 14 ounces. I'm going to stir that just a little bit. And then I am going to shred a little bit of Parmesan cheese into this. Recipe actually calls for the Parmesan on top. We're going to put Parmesan on top as well. But we're going to use the microplane fine grater with our block of Parmesan. And I'm just going to shred a little bit into the bowl before I start cooking it. If you're one that says you don't have enough time to pre-shred your own cheese, this takes the same amount of time as it would for me to shake the bottle of Kraft into this cheesy shells. The difference is this is fresh cheese, no preservatives. It's going to have a lot more flavor. And um, ultimately, it is less expensive because this block of cheese was like $4.99, and it lasts me a good little while. So, all right, we're going to stir this all in. And then we're going to pop this in the microwave for 20 minutes. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch me for 20 minutes um, until this comes out because you will be really bored. I don't have enough to say for 20 minutes. Um, but this is what it looks like before we cook it. And then afterwards I'll take a picture. But once I get this started, I am going to keep you live while we make the topping that's um, a crouton cheese topping. So let me go to my microwave real quick. What's um, everybody doing for Thanksgiving? Hold on one second. Okay, so my microwave is going. Let's see who else has joined us real quick. We have Heather and Anna. Congratulations, Anna, on your girl twins. How exciting. Um, I'm loving watching um, the progression. That is super exciting. Hey, Mackenzie, why are you watching? You're supposed to be at your writing lesson. Hey, Mary Say, how are you? Okay, so let's make our crouton topping. Um, but before I start that, actually, let me tell y'all about my Black Friday sale that's going to be um, coming up. So some of you might be in my um, Clean Out the Closet group that I set up a couple weeks ago when I had a huge, huge sale of um, a bunch of stash that I'd had, both new and old, or new and gently used stuff. Um, I've been posting some stuff in there, and I've also posted on my timeline. Um, between now and Thursday, there are some huge, huge savings on my outlet. So if you just go to www.pamperedchef.biz, which is B as in boy, I, Z as in zebra, forward slash Sarah McGuire, all one word, um, go shop and then find the outlet. There are some great, great deals. I will tell you things are selling out really quick. Um, but they're adding things, you know, every day until Sunday. Um, so those are some great deals to take advantage up until Thursday. Then Thursday, I'm going to start my own Black Friday sale. Um, the earlier you shop, the bigger your discount will be. I'm not going to tell you the complete details of it yet because, you know, the um, anticipation of surprise is always more fun. But I will post it probably on Wednesday. So between now and then, go ahead and be getting your shopping lists ready. Um, all the items will be um, 
free shipping if you pick up from me in Alabaster. And like I said, all day Thursday, the discount's going to be the biggest. And then when we move into Friday throughout the day, the discount um, will get a little bit less. But it's never going to go below 10%. So you'll at least get 10%. If you happen to live out of state, but you still want to take advantage of the really big discount, then we can work out um, your shipping costs because I don't want to leave anyone out. But because I will have to ship it to you, um, there will be some shipping on that. When you shop my Black Friday sale, you will need to either private message me, text me, or email me your order. They won't be online orders because if you did it online, I don't have any way to apply the discounts that I'm going to be offering. So all you'll need to do is text to my cell phone, which it'll be posted when I post the sale. Um, email me to sbear73 at bellsouth.net or private message me through Facebook. Um, I'll just need to know item numbers, the name of the item and quantity you want, um, and then prior to placing the order, I will arrange payment with you that will need to either be um, preferably by PayPal or um, by a check that you can drop in the mail to me um, right after you place your order. Anyway, okay, so back to our cheesy shells. I just wanted to put that out there because I know people are going to start shopping Black Friday ads, and in case you're a Pampered Chef addict and you want to take advantage of the Black Friday sale I'll offer, I wanted to put that out there. Okay, so our cheesy shells. It's in the microwave. It still has 15, um, 16, almost 17 minutes to go. On top of it, we're going to do a crouton parmesan cheese mixture. You can also do basil on top if you're wanting. Um, I don't do a whole lot of basil in it for the kids just because they're not real fond of that. Um, when the cheesy shells comes out, we are going to add, and I meant to open this up earlier, we're going to add an 8-ounce block of cream cheese. Recipe calls for 4 ounces, but I don't want to waste 4 ounces, so we're just going to put the whole block in here. So when this comes out, and I'll take a picture of the final product, I'll cut this into four, stir it in there. The heat from um, it having just finished cooking will melt this cheese so it makes it the cheesy part of the cheesy shells and Italian sausage. So, hold on, let me move my message. Okay, so you're gonna buy whatever kind of croutons you wanna make. If you wanna be real creative, you can make your own croutons. That's not happening for this chick. But I just happen to like the garlic and butter croutons. This brand is my favorite. Um, we're not going to use this entire package, so I always do buy my favorite croutons so that whatever is left, I can then use um, on top of a salad or, um, you know, use for the second time I make cheesy shells and Italian sausage. Um, but it's just garlic and butter. We're going to use the manual processor. Make sure the blade is down in here before you pour the croutons in here because you won't be able to get the blade in here once the croutons go in the processor. And I don't even remember what it really calls for. I tend to use about half of the package, you know, kind of fill the processor a good ways, just so that you have a good amount that's going to cover the top of the, um, the dish when it comes out. Put your lid on, and you can use this right-handed or left-handed just because you unlock the handle, let it pop up. Um, love how big this is. I will be using this for my onions and celery um, Wednesday night when I get my stuffing ready. And I have to do um, two whole packages of celery and about five onions, and it will save me a lot of time doing it in here. I actually have multiple processors, so I really will probably use um, multiple bowls and move the blades so that I don't have to keep cleaning it out before I'm finished. All right, so all we're going to do for these two times is just toss them. I don't want them super, super fine, but I also don't want them whole size. You want it a little more coarse than breadcrumbs. So this is, no, we're going to do a little bit more. Hold on. Okay, so, and we're going to take the blade out. So you want them kind of to be processed like this. So the bottom has a little bit more bread, you know, crummy type, and then the top is a little bit coarser, which is kind of perfect because you want a good crunchiness to it. And then we're going to shred more cheese. Um, you can shred it just right into here. You don't have to transfer this to another bowl. I'll just rest my cheese grater on top. There's not really a magic answer to how much cheese you're going to shred in here. We love cheese in my family, so I shred a good bit. All right, 
So we're going to do that, mix it up a little, and then I'll shred some more cheese. We're going to do a little bit more. And probably when it comes out of the microwave, I'll put a little more Parmesan cheese into it while it's hot. Then put this on top after I put the cream cheese down in there and let it melt. And then just let it sit for a few minutes and it's done. Um, the original recipe does say to put it under the broiler for a second. I opt not to do that because the croutons, they burn really, really quick. And I like mine to stay um, fresh, not burnt. I don't want them charred. So here's our Parmesan cheese crouton topping. Hey, Beth. Um, so just to recap, we're making cheesy shells and Italian sausage. It has 12 minutes to go. When it comes out, I will stir in a block of cream cheese. Once that is melted, I will just sprinkle this crouton cheese topping on top, and then dinner will be served. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'll post a picture of this um, recipe when it's done, or this meal when it's done, and I'll also post the recipe. You can go to pamperchef.com or my website and type in cheesy shells and Italian sausage and find it. But um, I'll post it just so it's all in one place. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll scroll back through in case anyone was asking questions as we went. And then um, if you have any Pampered Chef needs, be sure to watch both my um, personal Facebook page and then if you're in my um, Clean Out the Closet Facebook group, I'll be posting my Black Friday sale probably midday Wednesday. Um, or Wednesday morning, but between now and then feel free to shop the awesome 40 to 80 percent deals that are on the outlet. So hope everybody has a great evening. Um, try to stay warm because the temperatures have dropped pretty drastic since just a few days ago. You know, we were 79, 80 degrees um, the end of last week and then this morning it was 29. So pretty big swing. Um, but I hope everybody has a great evening and we will talk to you soon. Bye!